Hi everyone, my name is Elina and you're watching Marvel's Designer Tool by Tool Tutorial Part 9. Uh, so let's begin. Today uh, I'm going to talk about split or add point, which its shortcut is X. And today we're going to see how it works. So it works like this, that for example, uh, you're going to make a sleeve for your dress. I bring a rectangle, um, 17, not 17, 20 and 50, let's say. Okay. Now I'm going to divide my line into two, three, or even hundred parts. What should I do? First of all, if you're going to divide a line, you shouldn't choose a transform pattern tool because, for example, if I'm going to divide my just this segment uh, to two parts and I'm choosing a transform pattern tool, now I press on my segment but if I divide it into two parts, look where it goes. It chooses this part. But we wanted to divide this segment. So what should we do? First of all, we should select our segment. It turns yellow. And then press X. And as you see, as you move, as you see, as you move, as you move your point, it shows its distance from the left and the right. You should be careful about uh, the colors. Now, I, if I'm okay, like for example, I want 10 centimeters from the de, uh, destra, from left and 10 centimeters into right, and I'm happy with these measurements, I can left click. And then I have my point. What does this point do? Is that it divides your line into complete two independent independent yes, lines. You can even right click, make a line, cut it and finish. That's what it does. But let's say, control Z, control Z. Let's say I want three centimeters here and twenty seven centimeters there. What should I do? I press X and I should right click on the mouse and I'm having I'm having and I have this measurements i have three options that for sleeves i usually use this one but you can divide your lines in three modes the first one is as you see there's line one and line two the blue one here is line two this is going to be yellow in this situation in this case you don't see it but it's yellow and you can say for example from this line one i want three i told you three centimeters on the keyboard i press on three and you see i have three centimeters here okay 17 i I'm okay. I thought I'm good at math, but I'm not. Uh, and that's it. Also, you can do it by ratios. The next one is that you can say, for example, I want my line to be divided into more than more than two, three. Oh, let me see. Wait, it doesn't change. That's my okay. You say from the current situation, or for example, from the center 
I need four uh, points. Point for uh, for a uh, two segments. Why do I? While I'm talking, I change the numbers. Then <laughs> I say the wrong number. For example, I want three segments. Now I have one, two, three, and the difference between these three segments is two is three point zero five. And you can say you want from this part, you want from that part, where it uh, depends where you begin your splitting. And then the last one that right now for making a, a sleeve I need it is to right click and uniform split. It just divides your split uh, your split it divides your segment into equal parts if you say even i want 10 15 everything it divides them equally okay for example in my case i need three points i insert three and i have three equal segments and that's it, that's the beauty of X and splitting. Now you already learned your lesson of the day. Let's see how I can make a sleep with this. Usually for sleep, I go one, centi one centimeters. A combination of Iran and America and English. Okay, one centimeter. I press C on keyboard and I do this do you know why I do this because I heard from some teacher on Marvel's designer YouTube channel that if you do this and you are designing for character uh, game characters it's better for them because they have more ability to uh, open their arms without stretching your sleeve that's why you will need it okay hold but i'm i'm i don't think that this is the formal and official way of doing this kind of sleeve i don't remember how she did this but this is the way i do it so we can choose show arrangement point arrangement points or here or shift F you select your sleeve and select one of the dots shift F again and then front to front back to back and simulate for example I want a from this part i'm going to make my sleeve to be puff, puffier 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 for example i say from here i press x i don't need any measurement i just want it from here okay And I cut and sew. Okay. Right now we have all the dots we need. Okay, this part is a little bit is for the second. Uh, I'm sorry. This part is for the next tutorial, but I so I don't explain it here. Nope. Now it's a little bit puffier. Delete. Double click and make it straighter. Something like this. I select all of them. And on the keyboard, I press Ctrl plus D. Ta -da! 
Okay, another example I can show you for my color. I want an uh, English, English color, I think they call it. Okay, I want my uh, two part colors. Now I, I know I have 9.30 centimeters for the front and my bag is another 7. In total we have 65. Right click and make a two centimeter of a color, of a color <laughs> for bending, for bending the inner part of my color. Okay, now I unfold it. I convert this to curve. Here to here, then here to here, 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 and this is my last part. Okay. Now with my polygon tool. Wow, it was nine centimeter, right? Nine. Thank you. I can click on it, right click and flip it normal. Yes. And another one. Ctrl D. Oh. Reverse. And that's it. This is how we can use split to have an easier life <laughs> and divide your segments and shapes easier. I hope you like this video. Um, please like and subscribe if you like my content and have a nice day. Bye.